Hey, how's it going? I'm back. Today I'm going to be wiring LS coils. These are brand new, ready to go in other than wiring. I did have some CBR1000s wired in and they are honestly not going to do the job for me. These are the CBR1000s and they will run out of spark probably about 500 horse. Why would I go through all the trouble of wiring this stuff in if it's not gonna do more than 500? I might as well go to the best of the best. This is LS Coils. I'm going to be putting it on my KLV6. It's got quite the exhaust setup on it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe if you actually want. Send it. So I have to remove all the wiring that I was going to do with the CBR 1000s. This stuff was all used connectors and whatnot. I'm done with that. So easily get connectors for the LS1 or LS2 coils. So that is sick because it's just, you buy it and it's done and it's all brand new and you know it's not gonna fail. All right, so I got 90% of the wiring done. It's just I need to do the coil packs. So the coil packs are gonna go right here and they're gonna go on a mount that I ordered. There's a couple things I'm waiting on, but I do have the coil packs and they are nasty. I can't wait to run them. I've already figured out how to wire them and everything, so that I will do in another video, but things are looking good. I got the cam sensor working, the crank sensor working, the intake air temp sensor working, knock sensor, everything I need is working. I've tested it on the computer and I'm really happy about that. So I can't wait to continue on with this, but I've got three wiring harness done. This is Ted's. All three engines are gonna have coil packs. I'm not gonna do those bike ones anymore. This is the best of the best on what I was doing. Better to just go all out and tune it and not have to deal with it again. Cause if you're redoing tunes and stuff, like that's so much time and so much more effort and this and that. I'm going the best. I've got these ECUs. Thank you, Mega Squirt. Super, super good stuff. So I might as well just send it right off the get-go. For my engine, it's very simple for the firing order. It is one, two, three, four, five, six. So you gotta know your firing order. Then you know where the letters go. Mine would be A, B, C, D, E, F. So literally A, B, C, D, E, F. If you don't know your firing order, look it up. You can figure that out, no problem. But mine's easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start with A. All right, so I've got my coil sitting in here. I'm gonna kind of arrange them how I think I'm going to want to run them. And then I can start making my spark plug walk wires and that will basically be a quick in and out just from down there so i'm going to use my stock wire and go to this one with part of the original chevy ones so what i'll do is i'll cut apart an ls spark plug wire and then i will steal the little steel piece inside and that is what connects to the coil right in there and then i'll be able to use that piece onto my kl wire so you can do this with any engine as long as you use the stock wire with this end that'll fit onto there then you can make it work no problem so this is a factory wire for me so what i would literally do is cut it to the length i need it and then put this end onto this one so it would be like that so that's the goal all right so i'm gonna throw one into the head and as you can see they're very tight because of my headers that's fine i'm used to that all right so i'm kind of thinking something like that have that plug wire facing this way and then the next one will be the same but it, it'll be all staggered so i'm gonna make this wire very very short and see how that's gonna work i don't have the mounting plate for this yet i ordered one so that'll be welded to my intake and then it'll be all neatly set up in here i think there we go i cut this end so i just have to cut this off and then put that onto this end which is stock stock ls one to the to the plug wire that i'm making which is for my end this is the wiring harness i did first and i ended up doing a coil igniter module but i'm actually going to upgrade it like i'm not even going to try it before doing it i'm going to go right to ls coils they're better so this is the piece that i pulled out of the original LS1 plug. So this will go on to my new plug wire and you have to shave out the outside. You have to shave the outside so you can get to this core and then it needs to be flipped around like so. And then this goes over top and gets re -crimped. Simple as that. Well, I'm kind of committed now. So so I should probably make my wiring harness like another foot longer. I'll figure that out right now. What I'm gonna do, because I need one for, because I need a wiring harness for the front engine here, and then a wiring harness for the back here, and right here, there's go going to be the ECU. So this one's really close. This one's not really that close either, so. But worst case, I could actually use this wiring harness on this engine on the front, and then run the ECU here. And then there you have it. You got your connector, and then it can attach to this oil. Looks good, all set and done. I can put that back over top, and I will be all set. 
I ordered this last week and I don't think it's gonna work for me because they kind of aren't really meant for this style. It's meant to go like that, but these, so this is meant to hold the coils, right? But if they're like that, there's no way I can get the, the wires on without any major issue. You know what I'm saying? Because that's so close right there. I need one that's mounted like this. So I ordered one online, but it won't be here for a week. So I'm gonna have to wait on that, but I can wire it because I know approximately where they're gonna go. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to make them all the exact same. So I'm gonna make 12 of them because I have two V6s and they're gonna go just like we said before in there on an angle and I'm going to make them right away. I slid all the LS rubber boots off so I can reuse them. So this is actually gonna work like pretty damn good. Sweet, so all these checked good with the ohms. They were all around 190 to 210. So that was very, very consistent, except for this one. This one's in the thousands. So I'm gonna take it apart, fix that. But other than that, I am literally set to set up my twin engine MX3 with coil on plugs, with LS1 coils, the best of the best. All right, it is totally time to plug these guys in and see where I'm going to want my coils. I don't have the mount, like I said, but I can make this, I can make this work so I can wire it at least. Cause I, this is the next step. So I might as well do it, right? All right, sick. This turned out really, really good. I made all these plugs for two engines. So I'm gonna have enough for the front engine and back engine all done. They're all gonna be the same. So they're interchangeable. So same at a drift event, my rear engine starts misfiring and a wire's bad or whatever, I can just grab them from the front engine and send it. So everything's gonna be the same. I want everything reproducible because I always have problems and there's so many things that can go wrong. So the more things that are the same, the more things that can be fixed easily. So after lots of research and triple checking everything, this wiring should be very easy. Red is 12 volt, blue is the input from the ECU, which is one of these for each, which is one of these yellow ones from, the, which is one of these yellow ones for each cylinder. And then the white and the black are both grounded to the block. So I'm gonna do that. But as you can see, things are looking pretty sick. Things are going to be mounted like about so. Once I get the mounts, then I'm gonna have to weld on a bracket onto the intake, which is no big deal. This is gonna be worth all the hard work and time I put into this for this LS coil swap. Look at this, look at this. All right, LS coils installed, wired. Look at that, who that? That's me. All right, Think I'm so pumped on that. Look at how nice it looks. Like these aren't even mounted yet, but the thing looks n n n nasty, bro. So honestly, this is the last thing on my wiring harness. So I can literally put this all back together. So at this point, the wiring harness is done as far as I can get without putting it into the car with this engine. So that's super exciting. Wiring harness is gonna be complete. Last video, I didn't complete it because I needed the LS coils. And that's what I showed you in this video, how to wire in the LS1 coils or LS2 it's the same and it is not too bad but honestly it's better to make sure it took me a long time to figure out exactly how to do it and I mounted all of my grounds to the block so the red is 12 volt blue is the signal from the ECU and then the white and the black are grounded to the engine and I did some research and that was what was recommended all right so what I did say earlier is I'm gonna take off this wiring harness and make sure it's actually going to be long enough for a front engine setup so I'm gonna do that from the factory the LS's are wired one to the ECU ground and one to the engine block ground that works for the stock application but apparently it's better for it to be engine grounded I don't know why that's what they say online so I'm doing that and send it everybody's been having no issues like that actually less issues like that so I'm gonna go with it I thought I'd show you guys how to do it so there you go like comment subscribe and we'll see you in the next one